Hey, welcome to an episode of Chad's Beer Reviews. Yes, I am dressed up today, and no, it's not because of this beer. I just got back from a job interview, so I thought, what the heck, let's shoot a beer review while I'm all dressed up. And we're shooting a review of this beer, Adnum's Broadside, commemorating the Battle of Soul Bay, 1672. Strong original, 6.3% ABV. And if you take a look at the back, it tells you all about that naval battle. You'd think I'd be interested in it since I'm in the Navy, but not really. So let's just get pouring here. I got a pretty good pour there. Still a little bit left in the bottle. It's a nice looking beer. It's it's a dark copper kind of ruby red, hazy surprisingly. Pretty carbonated. Got a nice uh, over two and a half fingers of head there. It's a uh, off white, almost kind of yellowish kind of. Spongy, it looks like you could squeeze it. It's got that typical British uh, malty beer kind of smell, like an ESB or a bitter. I'm not sure what this is classified as. I believe it's just English strong ale. It's certainly not a, a barley wine or anything. Um, yeah, some kind of toasted cereal malts in there. A little bit of. Kind of an oxidation or skunkiness. I noticed that in all these Adnum's beers. Hopefully it doesn't taste that like that, though. Alright, well, even though there's a little bit of skunkiness or oxidation in the nose, I don't really get a whole lot in the palate. Um, this drinks like Fuller's ESB or Wells Bombardier. That kind of toasty, cereal malt, British-style... Um, with a slight kind of sour tang in the aftertaste. Mouth feels nice and creamy. Could be from that head there. It's a nice soft mouth feel. Um, perfectly medium bodied. Maybe even on the lower end of medium. Doesn't really feel like that heavy of a beer. Um, yeah, mostly more malts than hops in this one. Um, a little bit of that kind of English red apple kind of fruity character in there. It's quite mild while it's in the mouth. Most of the flavor comes on the aftertaste. I notice the more that I drink, the the less I notice that uh, that sour tang. Um, so I'm going to sip on this and we'll come back with my final thoughts on the Adnum's Broadside. Oh, hey, I'm back. Alright, final thoughts on the Adnum's Broadside. Um, you know, it started out not being a huge fan of this beer, but as it's warmed, it's actually gotten way better. Uh, whatever sour tang component was there in the aroma and the taste has seemed to fade away. This is more, drinking now a lot like a more traditional English ESB, getting the kind of red apple fruity flavor in fact, it's actually quite refreshing because of the flavor. It's not dry, which is nice, which makes the drinkability on it uh, quite high. Um, it's a nice kind of soft, slightly creamy mouthfeel. It feels, you know, thicker than it looks. Um, the 6.3% ABV seems, you know, pretty much right on the money for me. Um, you know, so it's like it's like a slightly stronger beer, but nowhere up there with the Imperials or anything like that. Um, it's not like the most delicious palate in the world, though. You know, it's pretty. You know, it's pretty simple actually. I mean, it just drinks like a traditional British style pub beer, only stronger. Um, you know, I could see you know sitting around the pub, drinking this for a couple hours on end. Go great with pub food, you know, sandwiches, crackers, cheese, things like that. Probably wouldn't put this with a meal, though. Um, but as a beer in and of itself, you know, it's it's good. And I'm going to give this a 7. So, uh, 7 out of 10 for the Adnum's Broadside. Um, it's kind of a toss-up between this and the Gun Hill, which I like the best out of the six. Thanks to Sean at Adnum's for sending me all six beers. If you want to send me more, hey, please, please go ahead. I'd, I'd love to have them. So, thanks for watching this episode of Chad's Beer Reviews. I will see you guys next time. Bye. Somebody brewed it.
Chad just reviewed it. Thanks for watching Chad's beer review. Trust me, the next episode will be a lot better.